some of the medical devices and IVDs can be marketed if they are certified of their conformity to relevant certification criteria by third-party certification bodies. In this lesson, third-party certification will be explained. Medical devices are divided into four classes, one to four, according to the risk level. Most of the class two and some of the class three medical devices can be marketed if their conformity to the requirements is confirmed by a third-party certification body that has been registered with the Ministry of Health, Labour and Welfare, MHLW, without a review by the PMDA and approval by MHLW. Such third-party certification bodies are known as Registered Certification Bodies, RCBs. However, products whose specifications do not satisfy the requirements or those without certification criteria in Class 2 are subject to a PMDA review and MHLW approval. IVDs in Japan are divided into three classes. The classes are graded 1, 2 and 3 in order from the lowest to the highest risk. Most of the Class 2 IVDs can be marketed if their conformity to the requirements is confirmed by an RCB. Note that products whose specifications do not conform to the requirements or those that are not substantially equivalent to existing IVDs or those that are radioactive need a review by the PMDA and approval by MHLW. Class 3 IVDs are subject to a PMDA review and MHLW approval. Certification criteria consist of three parts – scope, technical standard and purpose of use and effect. Scope lists Japanese medical device nomenclature, GMDN, to which the certification criteria are applicable. Technical standard mostly adopts Japanese industrial standard, JIS, harmonized with ISO and IEC. Purpose of use and effect is determined based on the definition given in the relevant technical standards. Certification criteria of Class 3 consists of three parts, is the same as that of Class 2 certification, but technical standard is a little different. Primary endpoints for evaluation of Class 2 are mostly cited in JIS and IEC. Whereas for Class 3, method of evaluation for primary endpoints using JIS, ISO and or IEC is defined in notifications published by MHLW. This slide illustrates the certification process. First, an applicant, that is a marketing authorization holder, MAH, submits applications for product review and QMS audit to an RCB. The RCB conducts product review and QMS audit on the MAH and manufacturers and determines whether they meet all the requirements. If they do, the RCB issues a certification of conformity to the requirements and the MAH can market the product. The MAH and manufacturers are required to be audited every five years after certification. This illustration of a house demonstrates the model of the requirements for certification by RCBs. Product review and QMS audit are the two pillars that support certification. With regard to the product review, conformity to the certification criteria and the essential principles is necessary. The certification criteria are Japan-specific requirements, such as JMDN, JIS, etc. The essential principles of safety and performance are consistent with GHTF. As for the QMS audit, a compliance certificate ensuring conformity to the QMS ordinance 
which is harmonized with ISO 13485, is necessary. This is the schematic illustration of how a certification body is registered. A certification body must first submit an application to MHLW. MHLW then reviews application dossiers to see whether the necessary data is complete. After the document review, MHLW requests PMDA to assess the certification body. The PMDA then conducts on-site assessment of the certification body to confirm conformity to the requirements stipulated in the Pharmaceutical and Medical Device Act and the relevant standards, which include ISO IEC 17021-1 and ISO IEC 17065. After completion of the assessment, the PMDA reports the assessment results to MHLW. After receiving the assessment report from the PMDA, MHLW reviews the documents again and determines whether to register the certification body or not. If satisfactory, MHLW registers the certification body as an RCB.